Hey guys, Zangus, and today I'm going to give you a review of the Seagate 7 portable hard drive. This hard drive definitely stands out from all the rest of the other hard drives simply because of its excellent design. Seagate have definitely put a lot of attention into design as they've made it the thinnest portable hard drive in the world. One thing in particular with the design is actually how thin it is, and it's actually 7mm thin. To give you an idea about that, it's actually thinner than the iPhone 6 Plus. With a stainless steel shell, it makes it just 91 grams while being really thin but really sturdy. And what you would have noticed already is that it's 500 gigabytes of storage with USB 3. Now having USB 3 alone is going to be really great because it means that it will be really high speed and also really responsive. Of course I've done an unboxing of the Seagate 7 hard drive so if you want to check that out then just click on the thumbnail. So my first impressions for the design were very high and I really liked it because of its shiny design and also the fact that it's really thin and is really sturdy as well. But after using it for a couple of months I am still convinced that this truly is the best designed hard drive I've ever seen. Even if it wasn't thin, I still think it would be a really good design. Now, the only disadvantage of this is that it does pick up a lot of smudges and scratches, and having those smudges and scratches there are really annoying because they're actually really hard to get rid of. Also, when it's in heavy use, it can get quite hot, but to be honest, this really isn't a problem as you're not going to be touching the hard drive at all. If I were to score the design myself, I'd probably give it 9 out of 10. I really do think that the ergonomics of it is just really nice, and I really think that's going to be incredibly portable and easy to use. If you haven't seen this hard drive design before, I think the first time you're going to look at it, you're going to really be amazed, because it's something that you don't really usually see, and also the design of it just isn't something that has been designed in any other type of hard drive. So of course it is USB 3, and that means that when you're using it, say with Windows 8, it's going to be really responsive, and it's going to allow you to transfer a lot of files at the same time. A small little touch is that when it's actually in use there will be a very small blue light but to be honest this is the only other extra thing to do with the design that's worth noting. In terms of the value itself I think that the Seagate hard drive is actually quite bad. While it is 500GB and that will have a lot of storage it just isn't really enough because you can get a 2TB hard drive now for about £60. This hard drive runs up to £100 and it doesn't have a terabyte option which is disappointing. One thing I didn't really like is that it came with some backup software and Annoyingly, when I first plugged it in, it did actually require me to download it, but of course you can cancel that and you don't actually have to do it to be in use. It really truly is a plug and play hard drive. If there wasn't the software, I think it would have been a really good design first impressions. But to be honest, that probably was the only fault I actually found when actually using it first time. 500 gigabytes alone, I really think is enough. I think the fact that you can get a terabyte hard drive for a lot less means that this is bad value, but to be honest, I wouldn't really say it's bad value at all, as you really are getting a really solid hard drive and it does exactly everything you want it to do. While it is expensive and you can get better value options, I really think that this is the best hard drive you can currently get, because a lot of other hard drives currently available just have really poor designs and they're just not interesting. Of course, if you literally just want a portable hard drive that just does its job, then this probably isn't for you as it's a lot more money compared to other options. But of course, if you do take design into consideration, then this really is the best option you can get. If you're definitely desperate for a very portable design, this will probably be the best option for you as well as you won't find a thinner hard drive currently available. The fact that they've made this portable hard drive just 7mm thin is really great because it really does mean that more portable hard drives are going to get thinner in the future. Of course, in a couple of years time, the price of this will definitely drop and there will be better options available. So that is my review of the Seagate 7 portable hard drive. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, then definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.